the moving company is still in front of that house with all of the stuff in there. And it's a Friday before a long weekend. It did not close. You never want to close on the same day. Oh, that's a, unless you have to. We recently sold a house on Fifth Line, that property. The buyer of that, for whatever reason, chose to close on the same day or maybe had to. I don't know the circumstance. The movers had to come first thing in the morning to their house and they had nowhere to put their stuff because they didn't get the keys to the new house until like three o'clock in the afternoon. So the movers were sitting there being paid by the hour with full trucks, nowhere to go. I had a deal back in November. I helped the clients purchase a home that they really liked. There was short supply. They liked it. No problem. We sold their home. No problem. Mortgage agent calls me, says, can't get a bridge, need to close on the same day. Even though I had prepared the seller and told them and they'd gone through that process, whatever, not happening. Any lender, whatever, the numbers just didn't jive or qualifications, what have you, had to close on the same day. Well, in 2017, the banks were afraid of bridging too. Correct. Had to close on the same day. Okay, no problem. So I got it done. Sold their home, closed on the same day as their purchase. It was on a Friday before a long weekend. Never close on a Friday, especially before a long weekend. Well, I don't mind closing on Fridays if we have to, but Fridays before a long weekend. They are super busy. Lawyers, banks, super, super busy. And then they're closed for three days and everybody, like lawyer offices, a lot of them, You know, they close at four o'clock, four o'clock, they're gone. They're not sticking around at 401 to, you know, help your deal close. Yeah. I mean, some of them will, but anyways, they loaded up the uh, moving truck, whatever, eight, nine o'clock in the morning, got them out of their home. Everything's going good. They go over to the new house and now they're waiting for the lawyer to close. They got there at around two o'clock in the afternoon. They're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. I said, well, usually the homes will close mid to late afternoon and the lawyer office will call you and say, congratulations, the deal's closed, come get your keys. Waiting, 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 waiting. The mortgage broker somehow, or the financial institution somehow, missed something in their process and the funds did not come through until after five o'clock. Yeah. And the mortgage agent did a good job of trying to make it happen. But after five o'clock, land registry office isn't open. The lawyer's offices aren't open. So now people have to work overtime and all three parties have to work overtime, not to mention the agents. The moving company is still in front of that house with all of the stuff in there. And it's a Friday before a long weekend. It did not close. So what happened? They had to go and stay with family for the weekend. Yeah. The moving company stored all of the furniture and everything in their truck and then had to come back on the Tuesday to unload everything. And the previous owner, while they left it in a quote unquote broom swept condition, you know, the toilets were dirty. You know, there's a lot of dust and stuff left behind, like not major stuff, but you know, not stuff that you really want to be moving your furniture on top of, like you would want to give it a deep clean. So I felt really bad. It was out of my control. Our end was going nice and smooth, but things can happen, right? So, so you want to give yourself a bridge of a week or two or whatever to allow for those things. 